13 high school football teams from South Alabama are still alive in the playoffs. And if history is an indicator of what's to come, at least one of those teams will win it all. Listen to this. Since 2000, teams from our area have won 20 state titles. During that time, there's been only two years, 2003 and 2009, that a team from South Alabama didn't win a championship. Check it out. UMS Wright and Leroy have led the way since 2000. Both schools claiming five titles each. That, no, that number besides Spanish Fort there may be a little misleading unless you know the school didn't open until 2005. The Toros, by the way, have won two out of the last three 5A state championships, and they have a good shot at making it three out of the last four. Now, McGill Tulin is one program with pressure to perform every year. The Yellow Jackets have been in the top 10 polls all season with just one loss on the year. The Jackets are hoping 2013 is their year to make a trip to Tuscaloosa. When the regular season was all said and done, the crown for 6A Region 1 went to the Blunt Leopards. But after the first round of the playoffs, just one team from that region advanced. Not the champions, but the runners up, Miguel Tulin. Much credit due to the Yellow Jackets head coach, Bart Sessions, who is 32 and 4 in his three years at McGill. A year ago, the Jackets fell to Auburn in round two by just one point. This season, looking to get past round two with a win over Wetumpka Friday night. Our first year here, we made it to the third round, and, and you know, we, we actually have uh, long term goals that, that uh, you know, we, we would like to get past that third round. But, uh, you know, obviously, in order to do that, with Tumka standing in the way, and, and um, you know, you just kind of have to view it as, as a round by round situation. A week ago, the six and four Wetumpka Indians upset Daphne in round one. Session says that win proves it'll be a tough game come Friday night. Can't look at the record this time of year. However they got here, they're playing good football to get here. Um, you have to, to kind of really just look at what they did last week. We know what type of program Daphne is. We can't take any team for granted, whether that be rather that because they beat Daphne and, you know, we beat Daphne. We can't even look at it like that. We just got to come and focus and execute our game plan. Um, they're a good team, um, obviously. They're good. Um, they wanted to 16 teams standing in 6A. Do or die. You got to win. Win or go home. You got, you got to execute. It's big time. The Jackets have their sights set on one goal this season. What would be a successful ending to the season for you? State championship. That's the goal, Blue Map. We want to win state. You know, that's, that's the ultimate goal. That'll be a successful season. All right, well, we'll see if the Jackets can do it. Now, over 